Hey, welcome back. So, when we left off, I was kicking the ass of monsters. Eh, not really. I believe I was hiding from them, to be more exact. So, uh, yeah. I think it should be. Hey. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Pretty good. No monsters? No monsters. Okie doke. Because that was fucking crazy. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the glass jar. I think we found acid once upon a time. And such. But I just don't remember where it is. This is this is the beginning. Hey, look at light. Look at light and quit being a dick. Okie doke, okie doke. Uh, this is the beginning. Fuck! Okay. So, we need to find the acid again. Because there were padlocks. I hear you! You son of a bitch. I think it's down this way. I think. I hear noises! No! No! Shut your whore mouth. Okay. So at first, um... Oh yeah, you're the place with the place and the thing, and yeah, we already saw you. Okay. So at first, uh, obscurity wasn't showing up in my custom story list, and I was very, very confused. And uh, okay, I think this is the spot with the... WHAT?! Ah! I'm getting so lost and distracted. Dazed and confused. And I'm wasting time and oil and whatnot. Ugh. So, yeah, it wasn't showing up in my custom stories, and that was no bueno. But then I figured it out. Here's the acid. There we go. Hello, glass jar. I will use you. Yes! Holds the acid safely. Yeah, you're like a magic lamp. I'm a genie and a battle, baby! Okay. <laughs> That's a door. I think it just goes back around. Okay, fuck, okay. Uh, you got anything? No, you're a box, you're a box. That'd be a nice hiding spot, though. Okay, okay. Hey, look, pigs! When will a machine for pigs come out, anyway? Hopefully someday soon. Alright then, let's go find that padlock. The lock of pads. That was so sturdily... Locked. Yes, I'm quite witty today. Thank you. It's not this way. <laughs> you guys are probably yelling at me. Dallin, no! Go back! Go this way! Hmm. This is a nice place. Oh, this is where I got the- oh, okay. See, it's been a little bit since I uh, actually recorded with Obscurity, so... Yeah. I feel like I'm not running very fast at all. Where's the padlock of doom? Oh wait, huh, right in front of me. Yay. Let's get the hell out of here. What? Of course you can. Don't be ridiculous. Does that get me out? Because I kind of want out. Or does that just get me further in? Hello, lit place. I don't like you. You're gonna... TOLD YOU! TOLD YOU! Meh. Flashbacks. William, what do you think it is? I don't know. But I've never seen anything like it. Where did you find this? My crew and I found it in the mines. I was just laying there. Alright. Well, I'll run some tests and see if I can get any results. In the meantime, you should go back and see if you can find one alive. This could potentially be a huge discovery. One... what? The monster thingy? Alright, my father's journal. Yesterday afternoon, one of my good friends came in with the corpse of a creature I'd never seen before. He claims he and his crew found it in the mines. For approximately the past 12 hours, I've been examining it and performing tests. This is a huge discovery. However, I think I should head home soon. Clarissa has been urging me to spend more time with Simon and Elizabeth. After all, I haven't been much to a father of a father to them lately. Excuse me. My allergies are going nuts today. 
Something weird is going on, though. When I cut open the corpse to examine its organs, it seemed to move slightly. Maybe it was just my imagination, as I don't see how it could possibly be alive. It has no pulse and isn't responding to any external stimuli. I'm going to lock up the corpse in the storage closet for the night just to be safe. Oh, goody gumdrops! And that's what we can use to break open. Okay. La la la. Are you the storage closet? Okay, I can't open you anyway, so all's well. Anything in here? Oh yes, tinder boxes! Blah blah blah. That, that gets you. Okay. No! Fuck you! I don't know where you came from or what you're doing! No! Shut more doors! Take that, you bitch! Okay. Woo! Okay. Yeah. In the face. In your face. Not my face, your face. Alright, Hammer, let's go. Bam! Let's go away. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're out of here. Awesome. What do you say, journal? Uh, no. It's mementos. Everything seems to be connected to the mines. I may be able to find answers down there. I should also investigate my father's safe. Uh, let's go for the safe first, because, uh, yeah. I heavily dislike the whole going into the mines thing. Wait, what the hell? So, where'd... Where'd... Where, ah, I see. I see. Oi. Just wish I could get out of town. That would be best. But no. No can doosville, baby doll. No monsters come out and attack me at night, please. Oh, the moon is still so full and round. It's the endless night. Oh yeah, and I had a safe code to decipher. I'll have to pick up the memento with that. I remember something was a five? Oh yeah, because it was uh, Elizabeth the first letter in her first name, which is E, which corresponds to the number five. Ha <laughs> ha, genius. Something was like houses in town, and something was like rooms at the inn, which I do believe was four. I don't want to have to go back and look, so I'm going to stick with four. Huh? Oh. We. Nope, fuck you mines. Okay. Oh, my lantern is low. Uh, to do notes. Safe combination. Alright. First digit is four less than the number of houses in the village. So, and then five, and then to the right, and then four. So the second one is five, and we're gonna stick with four. So let's count the number of houses in the village. Alright, here we go. Alright, starting here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it was four less, right? Right? So that would be four. So four, five, something four. To the right of the house. Wait, which one was this house again? Where's, 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 okay, there we go. Alright, so this was his house, and it's to the right. There's barrel. Hello! It's the number one! So, one more time, just for good measure. So, if it was four, five, one, four. If you don't work, I'm gonna scream. Is there moaning going on in the background? What the hell? It, 
Oh, okay, I don't actually have to move it, I just have to click it. Derp! 4514. There's probably somebody out there laughing at me and saying I'm wrong. But I'll show you! Was that there before? I'm gonna say yes. Alright. Okay, so how do we do this? Do we just push the buttons? Alright, so... Four... Five... One... Four. FUCK YOU! There were eight houses in the village, right? Uh... Maybe we go... Three... Five, one, four. Oh! There must have been seven. I must have counted one twice. How did the painting get back on the wall? I deliberately, like, threw you across the room. You bitch. Hey, Rod. Part two. His blood is on my hands. He's dead because of me. It was necessary, though. I had to do it. The entire village would have been in danger without the sacrifice. The communion's purpose is to protect, and I must be able to make the difficult decisions. We are safe now because of me. I made the right choice. His voice. I can't get it out of my head. When I left him there on that table to die, he was pleading for his life, begging me to let him go back to his wife. As I left, his screams echoed throughout the tunnels. I could hear his bones snap. I didn't know this man very well, aside from seeing him around the village. That made it easier. I wonder what will happen when someone I love gets picked from the drawing. Well then... That would suck. Did we already open drawers? I mean, if paintings can go back on the walls, then surely something can be in the drawers. Alright, so we had one rod. The others must be somewhere around. And I think to get down to the mines, we needed the other rods. And seriously, this trunk, I cannot get it! Murph! I've opened all these before. It reset. That's kind of odd. Uh, yeah, that was boarded up. Okay. No! Fucking fuck! Fuck you! Ah, get in the closet. Ah. I'm less scared this time around. I think that's a good thing. My puppy has come to protect me. Yes, she has. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> What the hell? You sound like you're vomiting all over the place. Vomiting and slithering. Although you fly, like you're low to the ground, but you fly. Like, what the hell? Have you gone yet? Did you conveniently break down that door for me? Oh, monster, you're so scary, and yet you break down the doors. Hello? Are you... are you gone? Did you leave? Did you leave? Hmm. It's still... Damn it! So you served no purpose other than to scare the bejesus out of me. Oh, such is amnesia. That is the way of things. Alright. Shoop. I did up. There we go. I wonder if we go towards the mines if we'll get the other rods. What? Oh. <laughs> that startled me. Ah, flashback. Here, Elizabeth. I want you to have this necklace. your ceremony in a few days. No, oh, no. Nice. I can't wait. Does mommy know about it? Or how about Simon? No, but you can't tell them about it. It's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, okay. Oh, no. No. Your own daughter, dude? Come the fuck on. 
did I get the mas- I did get the master key. So, other rods should be elsewhere in the village, yes? I mean, obviously you can't go into the ones that are boarded up, so... Let's try this one! Okay. Smart ass. <laughs> yeah, sorry for all the sniffing and otherwise nasally sounds today. If my allergies are just nuts. Woo! Hi! Okay, that's lovely. Lots of blood and psychedelic wallpapers. Um. Hey, there's a rod. It did. Give, give, give me. Thank you. All right. Anything of use in here? No. Okay. Thanks, house. Bye. And that is one noisy-ass door. Get some WD-40 for that shit. <laughs>